Hi everyone, and welcome to yet another wonderful Sunday School lesson with Exodus Deliverance Temple's Future Children's Ministry. Happy New Year! I haven't seen you guys since last year, and I hope that your year has been off to a great start. I know that many of you are virtually learning, and that's cool because everybody's online right now. So thank you for joining us, taking 10-15 minutes out of your day to sit and watch and learn about the Word of God with us. So I hope again that your year has started off great and any New Year's resolutions that you may have made, I hope they're off to a great start. So before we get into anything else, we are going to, as always, open in prayer and then we will continue on um, into our praise and worship and then our lesson. So would you bow your heads, close your eyes and pray with me uh, as we begin another exciting year with another exciting lesson. Father, we thank you, we honor you, we bless you, dear God, for you are great, Lord, and greatly, O oh God, you are to be praised. There's none like you in all the heavens and all the earth. I could search throughout all eternity, Father, and find absolutely none like you. You are the Rose of Sharon, the Lily of the Valley, the Bright and the Morning Star, Father, and you do we put all hope, trust, and praise, O oh God. Thank you for this day, this moment in time. We pray, Lord, that you will be a fence around us, Lord God, and thank you, Father, Lord Jesus, for being with us, Lord God, for sitting with us for abiding with us oh god i pray heavenly father that as we are about to go into this lesson that you will touch those who are listening lord god bless those who have an ear inclined to hear what the lesson has to say today i pray lord god that you will touch the heart of one of your children who are watching and i pray lord god that you will put something in their spirit today we thank you we praise you in jesus mighty name amen and amen thank you for praying with me now, before we move any further, we are going to go into some praise and worship. So I really hope that you will stand up and clap your hands, stomp your feet, sing along with this song and praise the Lord with me. So much for joining me and singing that song it is awesome when we praise the lord together even though we can't be physically together we can still praise the lord together virtually so before we move along into our lesson we are going to go through our memory verse for this week so this week's memory verse is taken from the book of james chapter 3 and verse 17 and so i will be reading it for you from the niv version but the wisdom that comes from heaven is first of all pure, then peace-loving, considerate, submissive, full of mercy and good fruit, impartial and sincere. Amen. Blessed be the reading of God's holy word. So let's get right into it. Today, we are going to be talking about wisdom and how we as believers can be wise. So I have a question for you. What do you think wisdom is? Great answer. Okay, let's see if you are on the right track. The simplest answer, according to the Bible, is the ability to recognize right from wrong. Wisdom is also associated with another word that starts with the letter H. Can you guess what that word is? Let me see. 
I am going to read James chapter 3 and verse 13 and see if you can guess that lovely H word. Who is wise and understanding among you? Let them show it by their good life, by deeds done in the humility that comes from wisdom. Did you figure it out? Humility. That's right. That's what that lovely little H word is. Humility. Sometimes being humble can be really hard, especially when we have to admit that we are wrong and someone else is right. So what does wisdom and humility have to do with each other? Well, we have to be humble in order to admit that God's word is right and that we might be wrong. The book of James also tells us that we can know if someone is wise by how they live and the humble things that they do. Wisdom comes from God, and the Bible says we lack wisdom because we don't ask for it. But heavenly wisdom looks like what we described in our memory verse. Pure, peace-loving, considerate, submissive, full of mercy and good fruit, impartial and sincere. And how do we get this wisdom? Well, I hinted to it before, but we need to ask God for it, believing that he will answer our prayers and grant it to us. So today we learn that wisdom is the ability to recognize what's right and what's wrong. So we've learned what wisdom is. We've learned how we can get it by asking for it. And we've learned how to tell when someone else is wise, those attributes that were in our memory verse. So now that you know all of that, you need to decide to choose God's wisdom in every situation, no matter how large or small you may think it is. This week's activity is to help us remember what wisdom is. Go back through this video and pull out some of the key points about wisdom. What wisdom is, how to get it, and how do you know when someone is wise? Fill in this paper and put it up somewhere where you can see it frequently. Use it as a reminder to ask God for wisdom daily. Again, I just want to give a huge shout out of thank you and gratitude for to you for joining us again for another Sunday and keeping with us through all this time during our quarantine in COVID-19. What a privilege it is and such an honor and a blessing to have you be a part of our Sunday school lessons. And we just want to say thank you for continually committing yourself to joining us every week. And for those who are new, welcome. Thank you for joining us this year. And I hope and pray that you have learned something from the lesson today. Speaking of, I hope that you can tell me one thing that you learned from today's lesson. You can say it to your nearest partner or your siblings or parents or guardians if they're there or shout it out to your screen. Uh, say it out loud in the atmosphere. What's one thing you learned from the lesson today? Did you say it? Awesome. I really hope that it's something that you can keep with you through the rest of the week and even more than the week. So again, before we go, we're just going to um, end off rather in prayer, and I'm going to send you off to enjoy the rest of your day. So bow your heads, close your eyes, and pray with me as we pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you, I bless you, I honor you, I glorify your name today. For you are great and greatly to be praised, almighty God of Daniel. Stand by us today. Thank you, Father, for blessing us and for keeping us, for causing your face to shine and rain down on us and granting unto us peace. I pray, oh Father God, that as we learned about wisdom, Lord God, that we will know as believers that we should ask for it when we don't have it. I pray, Lord God, that you will grant it unto us, Lord God, that we will believe and trust in you, Lord God, and know what is right and what is wrong and follow your word and your ways. Thank you for the children, Lord God, and the parents, Lord Jesus, and any other people who are watching this video. I pray that you will bless them and keep them, Father God, and cover them under the mighty hand of Jesus. We honor you, we bless you, we thank you, and we praise you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Again, I just want to extend great thanks to you for joining us from Exodus Deliverance Temple's Future Children's Ministry, and we look forward to seeing you again next week. Bye-bye, and see you again next time.